Hi, my name is Lamont. Today I'm going to be talking about the differences between Tokyo Go Anime, produced by Studio Peria, and the manga by Sue Ishida. And heads up, there's a lot. Just in the first part, starting with the openings, manga Rizu seems to eat a person a night, while anime Rizu seems to eat a football team a night. And then there's a tall man wearing a hockey mask at the start of the anime that goes by Jason. But before a lawsuit can be filed, this one uses pliers and his actual name is Yamoru, who wasn't introduced until chapter 50 in the graphic novel. And now let's go to Kaneki talking with his best boy Hida, with the news playing in the background. After watching numerous times, the incident happens in the Decatur building and the novel while in the show it happens in the Aqua building. But let's see if anything else changes from this scene. And yeah, there is. Starting with Kaneki never talks about what ghouls look like, but in both versions, Hide knows a bookstore date is a terrible date. And then Rizu walks in and Hide lets Ken know he's not her type. Afterwards, he still leaves, but every guy's dream of Critico asks him on a date because they read the same book. So I guess a bookstore date isn't a terrible date. But let's go to the date with Rizu and Kaneki have, which goes basically the same with the binge eater not eating her bread sandwich, saving room for her Kaneki sandwich. In both versions, all the same thing happens. They walk past Toka, Ken agrees to take his date home. Though the conversations change, manga Kaneki has more small talk, anime Kaneki has more personal. After they arrive at the place, Rizu says she's been noticing Kaneki's been looking at her like a piece of meat, and then she says she's been looking at Kaneki like he's a piece of meat. But Rizu makes a move on Ken, and Ken believes it's about to go down, which it does, just downhill. In both versions, Rizu takes a chunk out of our protagonist. After struggling to get away from a terrible date, Rizu still gets laid, only by still beams. The organ transplant still happens, but somehow Kaneki is surprised. In both versions, the hospital food tastes bad. The anime has more foreshadowing on Dr. Kano, while the manga doesn't. Our protagonist is released from the hospital, two different things happen. In the graphic novel, Kaneki goes out with Hide and discovers that all food tastes bad, even his favorite restaurant, while his counterpart goes straight home and falls asleep, and then wakes up and hears the worst news ever. His date gave him something he can't get rid of, but desperately doesn't want to believe. So he eats all the food in his house and discovers that he's more than likely a ghoul. A missing part in the show that's in the manga, Kaneki goes on two walks, which the first one he sees Toka getting attacked by a man and she kills him and then offers food, but Ken runs away. But now it matches up. The only difference is Kaneki discovers he can drink coffee with his own and the manga, but anime Yoshimaru shows him. The long story short, Nisuki tries to kill Kaneki and Toka saves the day and she force feeds Ken ghoul in the manga and human in the anime. That's the biggest difference in just episode one. Yes, that's just episode one, but the rest are short after this one. Now in episode two, Kaneki goes back to school, unlike kids these days, only after especially Hide says he misses him in both versions. But to keep it long story short, all the same things happen in the manga and the anime, though just only the biggest difference is Hide needs a last year's festival DVD from Nishiki, while anime Hide needs data or material. But other than that, all the same things happen. Nishiki attacks Kaneki and Hide. The protagonist uses the power of flashbacks to win against his editing. Toka still saves our best boy Hide. Episode 3 has differences with the anime they're searching for a but in the manga, they know who she is, but there are no pliers in the manga. Then we cut to Kaneki trying to learn how to eat like someone's cooking, that's bad. It's obvious he's never been married like Yoshimaru. That goes horrible in both versions. The manager gives Ken cubes to slumber his inner ghoul. Kaneki still goes with Yomo to go hunting, but plays out different, kinda. Only there are two bodies when Kaneki reaches the bottom of the pit. Yomo also states he's a real one and will kill to feed like Toka and the others at Antiku. And only helps get suicide humans because Yoshimaru asks him. They also run into Oryoko dropping off her husband's mask at his grave because he's dead at the start of Tokyo Ghoul. Also, all this happens in the manga, but those are the differences in that scene. After that, the stories are the same. Afterwards, the anime goes back to the doves hunting Asaka in the anime, but Ryuk in the manga, and this is where you're actually introduced to them both, Amon and Mado, in the graphic novel. Toka still takes Kaneki to get his mask. That plays out roughly the same. He still finds Toka scary because he's not about that life yet, but after fitting for his mask, Kaneki walks in on Hanami eating, but soon returns to say sorry with coffee. She asks, what is he, a ghoul or a human? Which, which he gives the same reply in the manga and the anime. In the anime, it looks like it's setting up the Dove Emergence arc, but then Suzuki walks in. So in the manga, the Dove Emergence arc is first, and then the Gourmet arc. Now, episode 4 really changes things around. Originally, Suzuki comes because he wants to meet the man who beat the investigator. Now he comes just to be annoying. Now we cut to Toka eating her friend's cooking, who later has to force herself to keep it down in both iterations. Suzuki still visits Kaneki at school, only changes he's reading a martial arts book to break someone's arm later in the graphic novel. But the anime, he's reading a Tatsuki book. The middle-aged ghoul... He's actually 23. 
Okay, so the middle-aged looking ghoul still takes Ken to the book slash coffee shop. Ken visits the bar and, and the book and the manga, but Itori goes into more depth about hybrids and she makes a deal with Kaneki. If he gets more information on the restaurant, she'll give him more information on Rizu. But Itori knows nothing more than what anyone else tells our protagonist in the first place. So he goes to the bookstore, the antagonist of this arc. The coffee date goes all the same, except Kaneki and Tsukiyama play squash beforehand to make Ken more tender for later. But afterwards, they go to the restaurant and the manga, but Rizu's favorite spot in the show. And oh yeah, this still happens. And here are some differences from the show and the source material. There were two humans missing in the show that were taken out right off the bat. Not before they drink poison coffee and one of them kicks Connie to the scrapper. But after that, the anime and the show aligns and play out virtually the same. Only being the book Kaneki was reading earlier comes in clutch breaking the scrapper's arm. And Tsukiyama's speech is how he wants to eat Kaneki. Bonus features that didn't make it are a miss. Dr. Kano is never seen in the news on the anime. You only hear it mentioned by Yoshimaru. Kaneki actually first meets Nishio while he's grabbing coffee before the back alley encounter. Ken still tries stabbing himself in both versions. Then after Toko force feeds Kaneki, she still gives him the Tokyo Town stomp because he wants to be a jerk. Once Ken goes back to school, Hide notices in both versions that Ken isn't eating right. And then Kaneki wonders if he'll still be able to walk with his friend. After they encounter with Nishiki, Hide still comes to the coffee shop to thank Toko for saving them. And then the person who taught Kaneki how to fight was none other than Toka and Yomo. One last thing, Susukiyama never gives Kaneki a wardrobe check like in the manga, and then somehow paper cuts Ken in the graphic novel after he tried stabbing himself with a knife. That's it for now. I'm sure I missed some things or forgot something, so feel free to correct me. Also, I'll be breaking this up into three different parts. On that note, this video is officially over. See you next